Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I do my honeycomb card. Um, this is something I came up with yesterday and I had a couple requests for a tutorial video, so here it is. Uh, this is from the Creative Critter cartridge, uh, number one, not number two. And at the end of this tutorial you should be able to make a card similar to this. I'm going to design it in Cricut Craft Room. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Craft Room and find my cartridge. I'm going to open up three layers to begin with. The first layer I'm going to do brown for the base of my card. And I'm going to rename it Base. The second layer I'm going to keep at orange and I'm going to rename it Top Layer. And then the third layer is going to be white, um, and I'm just going to leave it renamed at white as well. Okay, so in Create a Critter, the Bees Hive is in the accessory portion, and so I'm going to do the base in brown. And then I'm going to do the top layer orange, line them up, and I'm going to resize to the size of the card that I want to do. It's not quite going to be at the six inch mark here because I want to fit two on here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hide the top layer or the orange layer because I'm done with that for right now. Come back here to your brown and hit it, copy and paste, and that brings up your second layer. And then bring up the white layer and do another simple honeycomb. We don't want this one to be as large as the brown, that's why I waited to do it. It's basically just going to be the liner of your card so you have a space to write in. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this out. So in my last video it kind of confused people uh, when I skipped over the cutting part. I did that so you wouldn't have to listen to the machine because it's kind of loud. but. Um, for the sake of the people that wanted to see that, I'll go ahead and show you how to cut it out on the machine. So I loaded my mat already, and I have it on heavy cardstock. My blade's at 6, and my pressure is at max. I'm going to go ahead and cut. And then I'm going to get my paper ready for the next two cuts. Okay, so I have arranged the white layer next to the orange layer on my workspace. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And I have just two scrap pieces on my mat. That's why I keep all of my scraps for little projects like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut the top layer here.
and now the white layer will be the insert to your card where you can write on it. You can skip this step if you are using a lighter base and can write on the lighter base, but since mine's a dark brown, I'm going to go ahead and do the insert here. So I'm going to show you how to do the bees. I've already cut mine out just to save on some time, but I will show you uh, the base of them. And it's in the basic portion of the cartridge. And there's three layers to this bee. There's the body, the head, and the wings. And you can do a shadow outline of him, but since I didn't do one for uh, the beehive I decided not to do a shadow for my little bee here and you can um, get all the layers on here and go ahead and highlight it all and then that way you can make the size of the bee you want and you it's important to highlight it all so that all of the layers will fit when you all right to assemble you have your card base here both layers. I'm going to go ahead and score the bottom one at the heart. I'm going to flip it over, line it up and score it. And go ahead and fold it. And when you connect them together, that makes your card. So let's go ahead and put everything together here. Line it up. Press it good. Now this is the white insert that you're going to put in your card and because the heart will not line up obviously up here, you can go ahead and cut that heart off. And then I'm going to, um, instead of using my glue on this because I don't want it to wrinkle, just throw some tabs on there. And then I am going to use both tabs and glue for the top of the heart. Do that just to give me a little bit extra reinforcement and also the tabs can hold the glue down until the glue dries. My heart's lined up there and that is the honeycomb card. I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. I've got two bees here that I have cut out. They're teeny tiny little guys and I ran out of the black little studs I use for their eyes so I think I'm going to do blue eyes for these bees.
now comes the fun part, the decorating. I have three different kinds of pens I use for decoration. The uh, Pen Touch white marker pen, just a regular Zig pen, a black one, and then a gel white pen that I also use. Um, the gel white pen doesn't dry as quickly as the Pen Touch white marker does. And since this is such a, a light space, the white probably will not show up very well on it. Um, so I'm going to use the white to decorate the darker spots. And then I'll use my black pen to go around and do any um, detailing. So one thing I did with my card yesterday was I decided a bee's nest would not be any good without any honey. So unfortunately on the Create a Critter it does not have any honey. However, on everyday pop-up cards there's a little bee there and in the phrase lair is little drips of honey. So I'm just going to pick a layer here. I think I'll just add a whole new layer. Color it yellow. And drag some of these honey spots up here onto my workspace and resize them to the position and size that I want. I'm going to go ahead and do the honey cuts um, before I add anything else to my card because I want to make sure that those layers are on there so it doesn't look like an afterthought. And one feature that I do like about Cricut Craft Room is that you can flip this layer so that they all don't look the same. So by flipping it, it just made it the drips on the other side. And I think I'll flip this one too. Just for something a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to hide the top layer and move these up to my cut space that I want them at. I'm just moving them so that I am um, not wasting a bunch of paper, even though it's just scrap paper. And go ahead and cut them out. I have a heart cut out here with a simple decoration of a button and some uh, leather strips here. And I'm going to put that at the top. You know, you could do flowers, you could do a butterfly, um, you could just keep it a heart, whatever floats your boat. And everything that I've made on this card um, has come from my scrap pile except for the dark uh, brown base, but that's a really kind of important thing to do is keep your scraps around so that you can do projects like this without wasting a bunch of paper. So I think I'm going to put this little guy right here. Find a good home for this one. I 
and our honey. The honey just kind of brings it a little extra pop here. And I have a little saying here that says just because. Um, the one that I did yesterday said happy belated birthday. You really could have a lot of fun with little induendos with the bee saying. I'm going to put this right here so it kind of looks like it's popping out of the hole here. I'm going to take my white gel pen and give the honey some definition here. It won't have to be perfect. Just anything makes it look good and kind of pop off the page. And last, I'm going to just do some little doodle lines here to make it look like the bees are flying in and out of their home here without getting my hand in the gel. And that is how you make a bee card.